yet again to another episode of Dinner Guide. My name is Chef Andy and today I've got something really, really, really interesting to show you all. We're going to be making a very simple crepe Suzette, which I'm going to be serving with a bit of ice cream on the side. But before we get to that far, I'm going to first of all start by introducing my ingredients. So for my farthest end, I've got a bit of flour there and a bit of some sugar. I also have some orange rind. So this is basically just orange skin that's been finely grated. I also have some vanilla essence, I also have some contro and a bit of orange juice. I also have a bit of some vanilla ice cream there, a bit of some milk and last but not least a bit of some olive oil. And for this particular recipe you'll actually need a whisk as well and a sieve to sift your flour in. So we're going to slide into a short commercial break now, give you a bit of time to prepare yourself for the show. And when we do come back, we're going to go straight into the preparation of this very, very simple dish. So please don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just about to start a very, very simple process of making some crepe mixture. But before we do so, remember I'd actually just uh, place this on the table for you to just see it on the introduction. So we're just going to let that sit in the freezer for a little while and we'll come back to it a little later. But first off, we're going to start by making a very, very simple crepe mixture. And as I said, you'll need a flour uh, sieve so to sift your flour with. And to that, I'll also add half a cup of sugar and just proceed to sift everything together. And at this stage, you can actually use your whisk to just break up those big lumps of sugar. All right, and discard the rest. So once done, you can now proceed to incorporate all your other ingredients. First off, you're going to start by adding one egg. Remember, it is a crepe mixture. So crack one egg in there. Proceed again to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And last but not least, about half a cup of milk. And uh, using your whisk, Proceed to whip everything together. Right, once you have your mixture nice and mixed, grab a bit of olive oil and add about, about half a tablespoon. And just proceed to whisk everything together once more. Now you can incorporate just a bit of milk to just make your mixture a little thinner. Right, so your mixture is now done. You can just set that aside and proceed to heat your pan. So I'm just going to Calibrate that to about medium heat. Give it a few seconds just to heat up. And we're also going to grab a plate where we're going to be placing our crepes. And last but not least, a ladle to be able to spoon your mixture. And now first off, before you actually begin the process, very, very important that you just grease your pan slightly. So I, pr I prefer to use just a bit of olive oil and one piece of serviette. And all you do is just wipe the inside of your pan. Remember, it's a non-stick pan, so you don't really have to add any oil in here. 
but it always really helps to just grease your pan as well. That actually helps you to get rid of any foreign aromas that may have been in your pan and it actually also really allows you to get a beautiful color from your crepes. All right, so our pan is nice and hot. We're going to start off by spooning our crepe mixture, about a full, one full ladle. So pour the mixture right in the center of your pan and using your other hand, proceed to move your, wiggle your pan around, allowing all your crepe mixture to touch just as far as it can reach and just continue to do so until most of your mixture is now coated and is now nice and thin right around your pan. And you're basically now going to just start with your first cooking process. So basically just allow that to continue cooking. Very important also to be, to be very close to your pan at this stage. And just using my tongs, I'm just going to start to detach some of the sides. And of course, always remember your pan, your crepe will continue to retract from the sides of the pan as it continues to cook. So don't be too hasty in trying to turn it around too soon. Now you can actually be able to tell when you're almost ready to turn it over. First of all, you will notice those beautiful air pockets that really just pop out on the top. And the moment you actually have most of them completely uh, I would say as soon as you actually see the bubbles disappear, you should actually be almost ready to give your crepe the first turn. So I'm just going to use my tongs to detach the sides of the crepe. And once you have your crepe nicely detached, just Grab one end and you can basically just flip that over by hand and just allow that to cook on the opposite side as well for about a minute and a half to two minutes. And now something else I could also mention, if you're actually comfortable enough to flip a crepe by hand and you can actually do it well, it's very much allowed. Remember crepe is very, very thin it might actually be very tricky to actually get it to really slide off the pan and actually do it without tearing it so if you can actually use a pair of tongs and just use your fingertips as well and if you can do it uh, without hurting yourself it's also very much allowed right so our first crepe is now done so i'm just going to move that onto a plate and we're just going to proceed to make one more piece similar to that. So as we did from the beginning, one full ladle scoop of your crepe mixture. And then using your hand, just move your pan around, allowing your mixture to just spread itself on the surface of your pan. And basically now allow that to continue cooking for the first stage. And as I mentioned, also very important to actually be very close to your pan at this stage. Remember, a crepe cooks very, very quickly, and it's also very, very, it's actually very simple to actually overcook your crepes. So always just be very, very wary when you're making your crepes, and always also give it a bit of time as well. Always make enough time to make your crepes so you don't actually have to cook them in a hurry. And now, as we did for the first one, just using your tongs you can actually start to detach some of the sides. But as I said, always give your crepe just a bit of time to really cook through on the first cooking so that it can actually be able to really flip over much easier. And first signs you actually start to tell is basically as soon as you start to see a golden ring or brownish ring around your pan, and at this stage you know it's ready to be turned. So I'm just going to just ease that off the pan, just flip it over, proceed to cook the second side once more for about another two to three minutes. And 
now that's almost done as well it's going to allow that to cook till it's done and now your crepe is ready I'm just going to fold this over on the side here and we'll proceed to move our second piece onto the plate as well give us a few just a few seconds to cool off and now I'm just going to turn uh, switch my pans around and we're just going to go straight into the the, uh, the caramelizing bit where you basically now turn those very simple crepes into the Suzette we mentioned earlier so very very important start off by sprinkling a bit of sugar on your pan I'm using powdered sugar for this process it actually will melt a little faster so about a tablespoon and a half and to that we're also going to incorporate a bit of butter so to that I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of butter and all you want to do now is just allow your butter to melt in the pan and as soon as your sugar actually now starts to caramelize as well we're just going to go into the next step so you can actually move your pan around at this stage just give your butter enough room to continue melting and just before we have all the butter melted up we're just going to proceed by adding our crepe to the pan and we're gonna turn our heat a little higher now and basically what you want to do is just give your crepe just a bit of time to really get those sugars and all that butter incorporated and we're going to go in and add a few other ingredients just to finish off as I mentioned I'm going to be using a bit of some orange rind some fresh squeezed orange juice and a bit of some control which is basically a liqueur right so the sugar is now nicely melted and your pan is now nice and hot so always remember just before flambeing or setting any uh, cooking with any alcohol it's always also advisable to let your pan really heat through so that you can actually cook down the alcohol and all you're left to do now is sprinkle some of that orange rind over the top add a bit of orange juice over the sides and then add your liqueur right at the back here and just allow that to cook in the pan really quickly and we're just going to grab another plate right so it's a very very simple technique as I said it takes a very very short time and all you're left to do now is just move your crepe right around the pan making sure to really get all those juices incorporated and this can now sit on your plate and we're going to proceed to do the same thing for the second piece so as we did for the first start with a bit of sugar and a bit of your butter allow your butter to continue melting and also give your sugar just a bit of time to begin to caramelize and we're going to do as we did for the first piece so just grab your crepe and move it onto your hot pan making sure to spread it nice and white and once more go in with a bit of that beautiful orange rind bit of your orange juice and a bit of your control and begin to move your crepe around your pan allowing it to absorb all those juices and then proceed to fold once halfway and then fold once more into a quarter piece and then just flip it around move it around your pan once more allowing it to absorb all the flavors and at this stage we can actually now turn off the heat and move our crepe onto a plate and ladies and gentlemen it is that simple so 
at this particular stage you have your crepes ready all you're left to do now is finish off by plating your dish but before we do so we're gonna slide into a break now and we're gonna come back and just finish off and plate the dish and i'm also going to give you a few pointers on many other different techniques you can use to plate this dish and make it really really attractive to you and the and the and the and the people you're actually going to be feeding it to so please don't touch that dial we're just going to clean up and we'll be back in a short while gentlemen and welcome back once more we were just finishing off the crepes and we are now in the last and final stage which is basically the plating and we're just about to start that off but very very simply I'm just going to recap on uh, for those of you who missed out uh, we basically have been making some crepes and what he did we did is we cooked that later on in a bit of some orange juice some sugar some orange rind and uh, some control and now we're basically finished and we're now ready to plate. So on my right here, I've got some beautiful uh, orange sauce that we've been making as well, which we're just going to serve on the side with this. But we're going to start off firstly by assembling our crepes on our plate. So I would just fold those just as they are. And I'll do the same for the other piece. Just fold it over like that, give it a bit of a bit of a height and that will go right over the top like that next I'll probably just use a bit of those beautiful oranges like that just to garnish the plate next up grab your ice cream and then just proceed to move your ice cream scoops and place them right along the sides of your plate there so simple as that. Be sure to also make sure that they won't actually slide off the plate once, once you're done. And then just to finish that off, just a bit of that beautiful orange rind on the top like that. Sprinkle it all around. Next, a bit of some icing sugar. So just a little bit over the top there. and also just around the sides of your plate. And now last but not least, just a bit of that beautiful orange sauce that I'll just put in a cup as I'm doing now. And basically, I would just place that on the side like that. And that basically would be a very, very easy and quick technique to make your own crepe Suzette. And I hope you've managed to uh, grasp something today and I hope you've also had fun while watching us do this. And I hope you're now feeling a little more motivated to try it on your own at home. So from my end, thank you so much for tuning in once more. I really, really appreciate your feedback as well. And we are going to keep reminding you as we continue in the show. We do have a Facebook page. We always appreciate to hear from you. So any questions, queries or any particular issues that you may have pertaining this particular show, do feel free to actually write to us and we'll be very much looking forward to getting back to you. But from the studios and myself, I will bid you farewell now and I'll wish you a lovely evening and until the next episode when we continue to make some lovely, appetizing and easy to make dishes for you to be able to do at home. Thank you so much for tuning in today and until the next episode, have a lovely evening and see you soon.